Hi, I'm Peggy McCall, and I want to welcome you to the Manifestation Podcast. We have a very special episode for you today. This episode is called The Unconventional Behaviors That Produce Breakthrough Results. What I suggest that you do is to get ready and take some notes. But more importantly, I suggest that you follow through with what I'm about to share with you if you are interested in breakthrough results. Now, what's a breakthrough result? Let's just start right there. A breakthrough result is a quantum leap. This is where you skip levels. I have a program called Skipping Levels, and that is precisely what it is designed for, to help people understand how they can create a quantum leap in their life. In this session of the Manifestation Podcast is called the Unconventional Behaviors. What's unconventional? These are behaviors that aren't typical. They're rare. They're not the norm. It's not what everyone is doing. We're all involved in behaviors. We're habitual creatures. By nature, we're habitual creatures. And we tend to do the same things over and over again. We tend to behave a certain way. Unless and until we decide, so it starts with a decision, that we're going to change it, our behaviors typically remain the same. But when you decide you want to experience a quantum leap, you must understand that your behaviors have to change. So what are those behaviors? Well, I want to talk, talk to you about them right here in this session. So the unconventional behaviors are behaviors that unsuccessful people are not willing to do. But when they're willing to do them, they're definitely going to produce much better results. Because the truth is, if you really, really do want to experience a quantum leap, it's possible for you. Absolutely possible for you. Doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't matter where you came from. Doesn't matter what you've produced in the past. If you really want, and that's where it comes from, it has to come from desire. You have to recognize that desire within you is an inherent part of who you are. And it has been known that the word desire comes from of the father, of the source, that source, that desire is within you right now. When I think about Zig Ziglar, who was a wonderful speaker, trainer, and an author, I remember him sharing a story about the early days of him becoming a professional speaker. And one time he was invited to speak at an event and he wanted to go and speak there to get the practice because he knew that in order to become a better speaker, he had to practice and practicing in front of live audiences was the way to go. Well, when Zig Ziglar was a professional speaker, the World Wide Web wasn't even available back then. So there were times when Zig would have to travel long distances in order to give his signature talks or his keynote speeches. And one time he was invited to speak and the drive was approximately eight hours away from his home. He didn't have the money for a hotel room and he decided he wanted to do it anyway. And he just decided he would drive there, do the speaking engagement and drive back. Well, if you're any good at math, two times eight is 16 hours of driving all in a period of one day. Why did he do it? Because he wanted to get better, because he was committed to the profession, and because he was willing to do whatever it takes. Now, I like to say those words, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, and as long as it's legal, ethical, and moral. I think it's important to add that there. And I know Zig Ziglar was a very authentic person, and I'm certain that was his belief system as well. So Ziegler was speaking one time to a bunch of want-to-be professional speakers. And these were people that had a desire to become a professional speaker. And he told the story of how he secured a speaking engagement. It was totally for free. He drove eight hours. He did his speaking engagement, and then he drove back home. And when he drove home, it was the middle of the night. And so he was tired. He didn't have the money for a hotel room. Well, one of the people that was in the room where he was speaking stood up and said, well, I wouldn't do that. And Zig Ziglar said, then you don't deserve the reward. 
you don't deserve to be successful. There are so many people that recognize there is an enormous amount of, it's not even enormous. I'm going to hesitate to use that word. It's not about more effort. It's definitely not about more effort. It's about doing things, certain things in a certain way. Wallace D. Waddles talked about that in the science of getting rich. So I believe what's required is to have the understanding that you can experience a quantum leap in making the decision that you're going to get involved in the unconventional uncon behaviors so that you can produce results. And in order to do that, you absolutely must be committed and disciplined in order to do it. Now, I remember one time hearing another speaker who was a psychologist who'd been trained in quantum leaps, and he was talking about how it's often easier to 10 times your results than it is to increase your results by 10%. Now, why is that? Because, you know, a lot of people, they're, they're, and we're programmed this way, by the way, a lot of people are just looking for incremental results. But the truth is we can have substantial results. The truth is we can take quantum leaps. The truth is you could take your annual income and have that be your monthly income. But in order to have that be an experience for you, you have to understand and know it's possible for you. And at the same time, know this, that you have to decide what it is that you want to create, even if it is a quantum leap. And quite often people's thinking is so paralyzed that they're not even realizing that it's possible for them to take the lid off their thinking, their limited thinking and create a quantum leap. So you decide, you decide, yes, I'm gonna experience a quantum leap. You decide, yes, I'm going to make my annual income, my monthly income or something even greater than that. My favorite quote of Napoleon Hill is this, no more effort is required to aim high in life, to demand prosperity and abundance than it is to accept misery and poverty. Think about that for a moment. Really think about it. No more effort is required. You have 24 hours a day and there are seven days a week. I have 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Why is it that this girl, me, who barely graduated high school, has no formal education, has no business experience, has created a business, incorporated a business, and is working and delivering programs and services, author of 19 books, have a, has accomplished what I've accomplished, whereas other people who have the same background and perhaps a similar experience have not experienced what I've experienced because they don't believe it's possible. A big part of success and quantum leaps is believing it's possible and understanding that there's not a lot more effort required. Think about this. If you would love to boil water, let's say you put water in a kettle, electric kettle, and you plug it into an outlet, or you put water in a pot, put it on a stove and turn on the, the heat, it will take that water to boil when it reaches 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the water does not boil at 180. The water does not boil anymore at 240 degrees, 212, that's it. That's all that's required. And in order to experience water boiling at 212, there's a process that's involved. There's a sequence of events that are involved. And it's not doing more effort that's gonna make that water boil you recognize that there's a frequency that that water has to be on or a vibration that it must be in, in order for it to boil. Think about this. I want you to take a moment right now and think about a quantum leap that you would love to experience in your life this year. Think about that right now. What is it? Is it your income? Is it something with your physical body? Is it something with a relationship? Is it something you'd like to do, buy, be, experience, accomplish? Think about a quantum leap right now, all right? Get that in your mind right now. All right, now that you have that in your mind, I would like you to fully imagine that it is done. Whatever that is, it's done. You've experienced a quantum leap. What did you do in that experience? You imagined 
you used your imagination and you imagined that you were having that experience in your life right now. Well, that effort that you put in to imagining is the same effort you could have put in to imagining a 10% increase. Do you see what I'm saying? It's the same effort. Whether you're thinking about increasing your income slightly or whether you're thinking about a significant increase in your income, a quantum leap in your income, a hundred times, let's say, it's the same process. You think of what you desire and then with your imagination, you're thinking from what you desire. And when you're thinking from, you're actively involved using your imagination of having, doing, being, experiencing what you desire in that moment. You're using effort. You're giving attention. You're directing your consciousness. You're engaging feelings within you. These are all the things that you're doing. They're behaviors that create the end result in your imagination. And when you do, this is how you manifest. And of course, we're the manifestation podcast, right? This is how you manifest. When I think back to periods of time in my life that I've experienced quantum leaps and big shifts in my life, and I've had many because I made a decision to, one of them was when I bought a home and I had no money. The truth is that quantum leaps sometimes defy logic. Is it logical for a single mom who doesn't have the funds to buy a home to go and buy a dream home and to do it with a cash advance on her visa, not knowing how she was going to pay for it? Of course not. Unconventional behavior <laughs> produces quantum leaps. But I did it anyway, and I definitely experienced a quantum leap. When I decided to write Savvy Wisdom, my 19th book, a fiction book, I'd never written books before. Or pardon me, I've written books before. I'd never written a fiction book before. I had 18 nonfiction books prior to writing Savvy Wisdom. I never considered myself a great writer. It seemed illogical to make a decision to write a fiction book. But I did it. And not only did I write it, I wrote a great book. And I'm not bragging. I really believe it is a great book because I got out of my own way. That's unconventional behavior. Sylvester Stallone wrote a screenplay for a movie called Rocky. And he got that movie accepted into Hollywood. But the only way that he was going to let them make his movie is if he starred in the lead role. Now that seemed completely illogical. Even his request was defying logic, but he made the request anyway. He saw himself in it and he got a lot of pushback. They even offered him more money if he wouldn't play the lead role. Defying logic, unconventional behavior. He persisted until he succeeded. So what are these behaviors? Well, they're acting in faith. And it's been defined, faith as a word has been defined as the ability to see the invisible, believe in the incredible, and that is what enables believers to receive what the masses call impossible. That's a behavior. You've got to imagine with your imagination Everyone has it. You have it. I have it. The next guy has it. We all have imagination. You have to imagine as if you already have or have completed or accomplished what you desire right now in your life. What does this involve? It involves a commitment that starts with a decision and then daily discipline. Daily discipline. This isn't something that you're going to do for a short period of time and then you know, wring your hands, say, I'm done. Uh-uh. This is a complete conviction, a discipline every single day. Athletes know this. Overachievers know this. Wildly successful people know this. Very successful actors know this. Anyone that's accomplished anything of great significance recognizes this is what's required. And anyone can do it. 
Anyone can do it. But it really does start with, do you want it? I remember Bob Proctor talking about that many times in many of his seminars. He would say that the prerequisite for you to accomplish something that you really would like to accomplish is to determine if you really want it. And I'm here to say to you and to recommend to you that if you really, really do want to experience a quantum leap, a major shift in your life, in your business, in your results, with your finances, you've got to commit to it now. But unconventional behaviors will produce phenomenal results. You may want to take a look at skipping levels if you're at a little bit interested in experiencing your quantum leap this year. If that's something that you would really love, and you said so in the beginning when I asked you, is that something that you'd love to experience a quantum leap? And we talked about that. Check out skipping levels. That's something. It's a program. It's a deep program. Six months mentoring with me, where I'm going to walk you through how to experience that quantum leap, what the behaviors are, how to discipline yourself, how to think differently. It's important that you implement all of that. But what you're going to discover is when you start to experience one quantum leap, you'll realize that you've got this tremendous power locked inside of you, just waiting to be expressed. And more importantly, you're going to be experiencing wonderful results in your life. You're going to grow in the process and reap the rewards as well. Well, that's a wrap for this podcast. It's always a pleasure to be here to serve you. I love serving you. If you have a suggestion for a topic you would love for us to include, email support at peggymccall.com and check out skippinglevels.com as well. My pleasure to serve you. I look forward to seeing you again in another one of the Manifestation Podcasts.